The tool we are going to present to you is called Sustainable Business Model Architects. The aim of this tool is to develop a common language that can be used to accelerate the development of sustainable business models. Archetypes are typical representations in a given context, like the evil witch and the charming prince in a fairy tale. In this case, the context is about sustainable business models, where the nine archetypes are classified in major impacts of three innovation orientations environmental impact, social impact, and economic aspects. First, we have a look at the innovation type of environmental impact, which contains three dominant archetypes. The first dominant archetype is maximizing material and energy efficiency. As you can see, various innovations fit with this archetype, like low carbon manufacturing and lean manufacturing. An example of this is Toyota. They focus on completely eliminating waste in their production process. The second archetype is closing resource loops, where you can think of cradle to cradle and establishing a circular economy. Thirdly, there is the archetype of substituting with renewables and natural processes, which is about the use of non-finite materials and energy sources. The second major innovation type that is distinguished is social impact. The first archetype that fits here is delivering functionality rather than ownership. Secondly, we have adopting a stewardship role, which means proactively engaging with all stakeholders to ensure their long-term health and well-being. The last archetype that fits here is encouraging sufficiency. This represents, for example, slow fashion. Patagonia is a company that educates their customers to rethink the way they use their clothing and makes them aware of their usage. They promote reusing and, whenever this isn't possible, recycling. The third and last major innovation type that is distinguished is economical. The first archetype that fits here is repurposing for society or environment, where it is about creative positive value for all stakeholders. Wonderbag focuses more on this positive social and environmental goal rather than maximizing their profit. They do this with their buy one, give one model, where the sales in the developed world finance a giveaway product in the developing country. A second archetype that fits here is inclusive value creation, which is about sharing resources, knowledge, ownership and wealth creation. And finally, there is the archetype about developing sustainable scale up solutions to maximize benefits for society and the environment. How to use this tool? On the basis of the sustainable business model archetype, companies can be analyzed to see how they score on each archetype in this model to create a common language. But wait, why do we want a common language? Different companies can be compared with each other to see how they score differently on certain points, like these chocolate companies. Next to that, creating a common language within a company makes sure their employees understand each other. In this way, the topic of sustainable business is made more tangible. A point of attention is the fact that in this model, we only analyze companies on the positive aspects and leave out the negative impact they make. Combining this model with other tools like the hourglass model therefore be recommended to paint a more complete picture.